Uh, I'm your host, James Drummond with Code Envy. Thanks for attending CHE Conference 2016. This is our last session. Uh, our presenters are gonna be uh, Tyler Jewell and uh, Brad McKeeley uh, with Code Envy. Uh, they'll be sharing uh, how to become a part of uh, the project. Um, we have committers in the conference chat who will be doing their best to answer all your questions. If your questions uh, do not get answered, please feel free to contact us on our GitHub repo. Uh, Tyler, uh, take it away. All right, so this is the part where Brad and I get to actually be ourselves a little bit more um, and talk about how uh, we run this project, and we run this project uh, as maintainers with the rest of the broader community, and uh, we get to tag team this, and that's really awesome for me because I'm the good-looking one, and, and Brad's the smart-sounding one here. So <laughs> that's how we divide up responsibility on this container. Um, we 100% absolutely depend upon the contributions of the community um, and to make Chase successful. And uh, there are a lot of phenomenal engineers behind it, but it is their passion and commitment and excitement and willingness to put in a little bit of effort uh, to make things better uh, that makes a community really a community here. And, you know, we're really proud that we've got 70 uh, contributors on the project. Uh, we actually really like to, to build that up uh, get more committers who are participating with us. And, um, and there's lots of ways for you to get involved in the project if you're not already there. And so uh, with that, I'm going to let Brad walk us through these things, but uh, it, it is easy to do. Uh, while it may seem like it's a big project and it's intimidating, uh, you know, just start somewhere. And, and there's always little things that can be done. And, and those little things we give a lot of recognition towards and um, a reward as well. So, uh, Brad, what do you think? Yeah, no, I think that's that's one hundred percent right. We we really do want to make it uh, as easy as possible. Admittedly, Che is a complex product, but uh, that doesn't mean that there aren't small problems, small issues, um, you know, little bugs. And there's always people that need help. If you've been using Che for a little bit, you'd be amazed at at how much help you can provide for uh, for people who are just new to the project. So things like, you know, reporting bugs and filing enhancements is, of course, uh, you know, obvious stuff. Um, we love it when folks like uh, the guys at Zend and, and Kalyon add new features or the e-core stuff that uh, Jonas was showing. Um, you know, that's fantastic. But there's little things that, you know, I think sometimes people forget about. Just helping to promote Eclipse Che, helping to add documentation. We're going to make it a lot easier to add docs, um, you know, through GitHub going forward um, very soon here. If you want to kind of just know what all is out there, the great place to start is to go to our GitHub repo, go to the wiki, and you'll see a ton of you know, informational pages on the roadmap and how we handle our milestones and how we handle our sprints and ways to get involved, links to our weekly uh, you know, Google Hangout where we, where we talk about Che and, and plan out our sprints and everything else. So welcome all contributors, all you know, everyone to, uh, to come visit. So kind of go through these each. Reporting bugs, if you find something, please say something. Um, you know, we love finding and squashing bugs. Um, you know, we're only human. There definitely are some, some, some out there. You can always check the GitHub issues. Um, we label everything pretty aggressively within the, within the repo. We want to make it very clear for everybody as they kind of come in and just make it easy for them to find stuff. So if you want to look for bugs, look for the label that says kind bug. And boom, you're going to get only bugs. You can add info to existing bugs. It's not even just about, hey, you have to go fix a bug. A lot of times, you know, we'll find, somebody will find a bug and they'll send it and the committers will try it and we maybe can't reproduce it. And maybe there's just not quite enough detail there or maybe we're missing some key piece. And so having two or three people, um, you know, comment on additional information. And I'm not talking just, you know, hey, plus one, I saw this too. It's great if you can add, you know, extra things like, oh, I'm on a Mac OS and I'm on this version with Docker and I saw this, you know, message or I was doing this beforehand and, you know, it didn't happen and then I did this and it did happen. Um, oh, I'm seeing that on Ubuntu and it looks a little bit different or I'm seeing that on Windows. And, 
if we start to get those extra pieces of information, every little bit helps. It's like a little bit of a puzzle that, uh, that folks are going to put together to help solve that bug. And of course, if you're going to file an issue for a new bug, that's fantastic. We love that. Um, we love getting bugs. So we've got a page on the wiki, submitting bugs and suggestions. It just talks a little bit about how to do it. But when you go to create an issue, the default template for an issue you'll see is a bunch of kind of uh, information that we would request that you fill out about the bug, including things like what version are you using, what, um, you know, what platform are you on, all that good stuff. Finally, enhancements is really similar. Um, you know, you go to GitHub issues, except this time you look for kind enhancement. And once again, you don't need to necessarily be the first one to have thought of an enhancement. It's great to have that conversation of, yeah, it would be great to me if this enhancement happened. I would even like it better if it did this. Or I'm worried about it doing that. Maybe it should handle it in a different way because I'm concerned about security or I'm concerned about you know, parallel execution or whatever it is. But getting those dialogues going on the, on the issues is fantastic. And you'll see um, as you take part on the GitHub repo that the Che committers are very responsive. We love talking to the community. We love hearing these use cases. We're, we're you know, passionate about getting this product just right. Um, and we're gonna be very clear and transparent in everything we do, even if sometimes that is gonna be, yeah, you know what? We're not gonna do that. Um, <laughs> we'll at least be clear and transparent about that. Finally, an issue for the new enhancement. You'll, you'll get the bug template when you go and do that. Um, you can, of course, remove the, the unnecessary fields. Some of them are very bug specific. Helping others, this is a big, big one. Um, you know, Stack Overflow, GitHub questions are a great place to look for users who need help. And I've included some links. Again, this presentation, like all the presentations, will be shared with you um, after the conference. We'll post these recordings to the CheConf site as well. Uh, but you can click on the link there for Stack Overflow. You would see some of the questions tagged with Eclipse Che. Jump in and, and help out people who are kind of trying to get their, their feet wet with Eclipse Che, or sometimes people who are trying to do some pretty crazy stuff. Maybe you've got some experience you can help out. And same thing with questions in GitHub. We label those with kind question. And so once again, easy to jump in and see those, find them right away. If you're a developer, um, you know, you, you saw a bunch of them, of course, in the sessions today, but I know that there's others out there doing cool things with Che. So if you're working with Che, if you're building things with Che, you're getting deeper into Che, it would be fantastic if you can share some of that knowledge, some of those experiences with the rest of the community. Um, you know, there you'll see some of the questions on Stack Overflow and in GitHub that are also, um, you know, very advanced, that require a little bit more knowledge. Um, comment on those. Or, you know, this is also a place where it's helpful to get those comments from other developers on some of the enhancements that we're planning, things that maybe we're not thinking of. It's interesting because we use Slack internally, um, you know, to communicate uh, around some of, uh, some of the Code Envy developers, and some of them are watching some of these sessions and said, gee, I think, you know, within Che, we need to file some enhancements to make it a little bit easier for people to, to kind of and think about some of these cases where there's going to be language servers that are in different languages being built as plugins in different languages. And how do you debug them? And how do you integrate them with the rest of the, the Che stack? And so the gears are turning. Let's, uh, you know, the more we talk, the better things will get. Fixing bugs, kind of the next level up. So, you know, you've been working with it now for a while. You're, you're getting comfortable. You kind of know where things are at. You've got some good tricks up your sleeve. You've seen some of the, the speed bumps and you're past them. Now you're kind of into the, how can I really go to the next level? Well, the next level that's easiest is probably fixing the bugs. Um, so look at the issues. Um, and don't worry if they're already tagged and seem to be owned by somebody. Um, don't be shy, you know, post a comment and just say, you know, hey, at, whoever it's assigned to, um, you know, do you need some help or is this something that I can work uh, with you on? What, we're, what we try and do with the issues is we'll assign them so they don't get lost, so they don't get missed and fall into kind of a black hole because we've seen that happen sometimes with, with GitHub projects and we want to avoid that with Che. So we assign them so they're kind of always top of mind for somebody. There's somebody who feels responsible for owning them within the committer group. But as you can imagine, there's a lot of issues and not nearly as many committers. So there's a lot of times where if you feel like you can tackle the bug and you think you've got it, 
put your hand up, say to the committer, hey, you know, do you mind if I take this one or do you need some help? And, the, you know, in most cases, I think the committer is probably going to be pretty excited and say, hey, I have at it. If you need some help, let me know. I'm happy to collaborate with you on it, things like that. So really, really great way to get started. You know, of course, this is an Eclipse project. So in order to contribute anything back to the repo, though, you will need to sign the Eclipse contributor license agreement. That is not a license agreement, of course, like, you know, a purchase license agreement. This is an open source license agreement that just basically says that you understand the bounds within which this code will be operated in the open source world. So the coding guidelines, contributor license agreement, I pasted here as well, just to make things easier for you guys. Now, so now we get to kind of the exciting part. So now you've fixed a couple bugs, you've helped out some users, now you're really cooking. Now it's time to do some new features in Che, and this is where things get cool. What are some of the things you can do? Well, you can add new stacks. And in fact, for those of you who saw Florence's session earlier um, on using stacks and, and Che files, you'll have seen that it's actually pretty easy to create stacks. You don't need to be a hardcore coder. Um, a lot of this now has been moved into the UI. So create those stacks, grab those configurations, drop them into an issue in, in GitHub and say, hey guys, here's a new stack for you know, XYZ language and XYZ runtime. Um, I'd love it to be a default in Che. And we'll look at it and as long as it, it meets the, the kind of uh, you know, coding guidelines and all that good stuff, we love adding stacks to Che. We want there to be hundreds of stacks in Che. So great, great way to get engaged. Um, you've got a, a link to the help there at the bottom, um, but uh, a nice, nice way to ease in. There was a ton of interest around new language servers. If you guys didn't see the first couple sessions, the keynote, and then uh, the session with Quinn from Sourcegraph, fantastic sessions, talked about the new language server. We saw a language server implementation from Zend uh, that was presented there by, uh, by Kalyan. Fantastic stuff. I think people, I feel like everyone's imagination is now really fired about what you can do with these new language servers and the idea that it really will be the case in a fairly short period of time that in one Che IDE, you will be able to have support for every language. It's a mind boggling thought to think that you could have stellar Java support and C++ support and JavaScript support and PHP and Python and Scala and R and, 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 and. It's, it's just amazing and it's so exciting. And I think, you know, this is a fantastic place for people who are experts in language to get started. And I'll just echo something that Quinn said in his presentation, because I think it's a fantastic point he made that if, if you are one of those people who is deep into a new language, maybe you're actually building a new language, maybe you're extending a language, that it's gonna very soon be the case that if you don't provide a language server protocol implementation for your new language, you're gonna be kind of dooming it to kind of a, a little side life. So this is a fantastic place to get engaged um, and start contributing. New code samples. This is another one that I think easily gets overlooked, but is not a terribly difficult place to contribute and is a huge help to a lot of people. Um, you will have seen when you open up Che and you choose a particular stack that we have specific code, ample, uh, code examples that are tied to that stack. So when you create a new stack, one of the best things to do is to create a few code samples to go with it. Maybe you're creating a new R stack. So create a few code samples that really show off what can you do with R maybe a couple basic ones, maybe some more advanced ones. This is a really great way, again, as somebody who's passionate about a language and wants to help kind of evangelize it and bring it to other people, a great way to get that across. Not terribly hard. Um, you can see our docs on templates. Um, the, the link is called templates, but really it's for code samples. And of course, don't listen to me. Add whatever you want to Che. <laughs> this is the beauty of open source, is that I'm going to give you some ants. I'm going to tell you places where I think it'd be cool for you to, to add things, but I, I can't imagine some of the things that people are going to add. And that's what's, that's what's exciting. So there's plugin authoring docs to help you. Link is there. Um, if you didn't see it, go and watch the, uh, the session on extending Che. We're going to get that video up um, in the next day or two. And that you know is it was a great introduction by Jonas and Kalyan and, and Stephen on on how to create these extensions. 
you there's so much you can do with Che and create these new plugins, create these new assemblies, um, even something as kind of extreme as uh, the Arctic IDE, totally rebranded, totally custom stuff. It is within your power, um, you know, and it's uh, and there's some very very exciting untried territory there for sure. Now Tyler mentioned this in his keynote, but I just wanted to re-emphasize it. Submitting two high quality PRs makes you eligible for committer status. So again, in, in the spirit of transparency, which is so important to all of us who work on the CHE project, we want it to be dead clear and dead simple about what does it mean to be a committer? This is not a private club. We're not trying to create a little oligarchy of people who are gonna you know, just decide what goes into CHE and no one else is welcome. This is a community and it's a community that is gonna embrace new members. We want people to provide PRs, we want people to be committed and passionate about CHE, and we want those people to be our committers. Um, so we're going to make that uh, nice and clear and easy. So kind of in keeping with this idea of there's so many places to contribute, you know, we've looked at this kind of high level architecture of CHE before, and you can see that there's a lot. There's a ton that can be done in the browser IDE, a lot that can be done in the server in terms of, uh, now that's that's some of the, the kind of guts and the, the, the heavy stuff that the Red Hat has started working on. I know some of the stuff that Docker wants to do is in that world. Some very, very cool stuff going on in there in terms of you know, how Docker would work, how orchestration of containers and workspaces work. And then agents. You know, a lot of room still to create very cool agents. I mean, we've got synchronizing agents, we've got mounting and desktop agents, SSH and terminal and some IntelliSense, but I'm sure there's so much more that we could be doing there. And then promoting. Um, as I said, this is one of the areas that, that people forget about, I think, with open source projects. But it's so, so important. I think one of the things that has made Che successful is that we, as committers, are passionate about sharing our passion. And so we're excited when people do things with Che. We take the time to get that onto the Che site. We take the time to tweet it. We want to make sure that, that it gets out there. And so if you're, if you're doing exciting work, let us know. Um, you know, tweet at us at, at Eclipse Che, or you know, send us something with hashtag made with Che. We're going to totally help promote it. You, uh, if you go visit our our blog, which is on Medium, uh, the Eclipse Che blog. Um, I realize now I should have uh, included a uh, a link to that. Um, you'll see that we've already got a couple blog posts up about made with Che. Uh, one talking about what Zend has done with PHP, and another talking about Red Hat. There is more coming. But I would love to have a backlog 20 deep of these. I would love to be spending all of my weekend hours hammering out these made with Che stories and interviews with people to talk about the cool things they've done. And you know, the more we do that as a community, the richer the community gets, the richer Che gets, um, and the richer we as individuals who are building these things get. So it's 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 win 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 all the way around. And if you're doing something really cool and really big. We're happy to get you featured on the Chase site. Um, you may have seen this. We've featured the Arctic IDE. Uh, we've featured what Code Envy has done. We've featured what SAP has done. Um, you know, and so send an email to the Chase mailing list with kind of a brief abstract of what you've been doing, and we'll contact you. We'll set up the interview. We'll, we'll get the information we'll need. We'll grab the screenshots, and we'll take care of the, you know, of of, of getting it onto the site. So lots of lots of great ways to get your products um, featured. So if none of those ideas appealed and you'd still like to get involved but are not sure, or maybe you have an idea that I didn't think of and, and you want to kind of bounce it off of us, email us at, uh, at ChedeV um, or send a tweet at uh, Eclipse Che and let us know. Um, as I said, you know, we're, we don't have all the answers. That's why we're a community. We want to you know, think about what other people can do and, and want to do. So Tyler said at the beginning, I'm going to say it again. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Thank you for using Che. Thank you for contributing Che. Everything. This is a fantastic community that I'm so proud to be a part of. And uh, uh, yeah, just thank you. This was uh, awesome. Tyler, this anything was else you want to add? Or? Yeah. I mean, this was our first ever user conference. Thank you all for your attendance today. This was awesome. Thank you to all the speakers. Thank you to the moderators and the hosts. Uh, it was definitely a group effort. 
It, this is this project's moving a million miles an hour. Uh, I, I, I'm not sure if everyone knows, but we were making leaps and bounds in installing, uh, you know, pair projects. Uh, just it, it's going crazy, and it's all good stuff. And and you can expect huge things soon, right now. <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't think so. Thank you any, very much, everybody. Any more uh, funny comments there, Tyler, you want to add? <laughs> Tyler was adding some uh, funny comments in the uh, the chat room. Yeah, the All right. Part, part's over. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> All right, you guys. Well, thank you, everyone that's watching and uh, stuck it through all the way to the end uh, or just joining. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, I hope uh, uh, you can contribute. And thanks. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.